Hey everybody, I'm Michael from Michael Strong Rubber Stamps. And to, hang on just a minute. So what do you think about my new shoes? You know, everybody can't wear orange shoes. I think it's um, Mario Vitale and me. That's about it. But uh, seriously, these are souvenirs from a recent trip to Holland that I took. And when we come back, I'm going to tell you that in the Netherlands, it's all about the orange. <laughs> So orange is the symbolic color of the royal Dutch family and um, the most famous member being William of Orange who reigned in the 17th century and later became William III. Now in Holland in I think it's yeah it's April everybody dresses in orange for Queen's Day and the whole country is awash in orange. So the first part is our title block, which is going to be at the bottom of the page. And I've already added a little bit of uh, a decorative element at this corner. But the main part is this beautiful picture, which I cropped. It used to be a, quite a bit bigger. And my friend Kay Williamson sent me about 250 pictures from our trip. And this is one of them from a, just a typical flower market that she found in the little town that we were in called Zeist. So I'm using that as the bottom, as sort of the base, and a little bit later on you'll see that I put some lettering, that's just the peel-off letters that, that say the Netherlands at the top uh, on here. So the other element that I want to put here is my little pair of shoes, which I showed you the real thing, and it says the name of the town, which I painted on when I was over there. We, we had a pimp my shoe party, which was a blast, it was really fun. But um, I'm gonna put this here, uh, one thing I did want to mention is these are scanned pictures, so I printed them on my inkjet printer. And when I do that, I like to protect them uh, with a little microglaze from Judikins. So what you will want to do is just put a little bit on your finger and rub it right on. And it protects the ink so it won't run or fade, and it really actually pops a lot of the black background that you see here, it makes them really nice and brighter. So I'm, I'm doing that to all of my pictures. So this is the focal point of the page. And it's, a, as you can see, it's a picture of me painting the wooden shoes you saw earlier. And what I'm going to do is layer on some double stick adhesive. So I'm just gonna press that right onto the picture. And then I'll peel that away. So the next element I want to use is a special shape, and this one's shaped like an arrow, and it's made by clear scrap, and they're a specially formulated plastic that have lots of really cool properties, which I'm going to tell you about in a little while. But both sides of the pieces have a clear protective plastic, and you'll need to peel that off before you use it. You can see that they're crystal clear, I mean they have a really nice glass-like finish, which I like. So here it is, I'm pressing it in place, and now I. I did another one just um, to show you, uh, to save a little time. Here's how it looks after I've trimmed all of the edges and the picture is the only thing that's left inside the plastic element. So on the reverse side, I've put some dimensional adhesive and then we're just gonna set that aside for a minute. Now I'm bringing in the exact same picture that I cut out before, only this time I've laid it onto a bright orange frame. And the idea here is that the arrow is going to emphasize the action in the picture, which is me painting the shoe. And then when I position it on the layout, it's going to be above the finished product, which you see here. And so what I'm going to attempt to do is to line that up as close as I can, and that pops up the main activity in the picture. So there's the next element. Now, um, I mentioned Kay Williamson before, the lady that sent me all these pictures. And what I ended up doing was going through the whole catalog of pictures and picking out anything that had orange in it. So this is the next picture I'm going to use. And as you can see, my friend Hetty, who's standing here, is wearing an orange blouse. So that's why I chose this one. And of course, you recognize my good friend, Trisha Morris. She was along on that trip, too. All right, so the next element we have is this picture of the church that was across the street from our hotel. You can see it has a bright orange roof. And then the second part of this element is a piece of cardstock that I folded in half. So what I'm going to do is turn it over and butt them up against each other and just tape them together with a little regular 
tape. Now I have another picture that I want to decorate the outside of the little um, card with. And this is a picture of um, the group of us who went on a picnic out in the country. And you can see here's my friend Judy again wearing the typical little Dutch hat. And I want to pull in the sort of the finished product up here just to show you how it's supposed to look. It's got a little brad which I added. And the idea here is the front of the little card slips underneath that brad to close it in place. Now a little bit later I'm going to show you what goes on the inside of here. So to fill up this little empty space that we have in the corner, we're going to uh, add a decorative element which happens to be a flower. And the flower stamp is from my collection of cloisonne designs. This is the cloisonne flower. So we're going to ink it with some pigment ink. And this is the kind of ink that doesn't have any color. It's just kind of sticky. So we'll put that right onto the paper, keeping with the theme of orange again. <laughs> and now I'm going to add some gold embossing powder. Take off the extra. So don't worry if you have a little extra powder clinging here and there. You can just turn it over and give it a flick on the back and most of it will be gone. So we're going to use the heat tool. We've all seen this process before, but it never ceases to amaze. I mean, it's kind of the, the magic part of stamping. So here's how it looks after it's been heated. And here's one that I cut out and you can see that um, I've added another little element, which is this orange brad. So here's the layout with everything squeezed on. You can see that I've added those little letters. I told you they're just kind of uh, peel off and stick on letters down here to anchor the, the picture. There's my clogs. Here's the little decorative element that I told you I was gonna doctor up a little bit. And what I did was I cut out one of the petals from the flower and I'm going to stick it down here. It kind of makes a nice echo of from the top to the bottom. So here's the main decorative element. That was the directional arrow that we laid onto the page. But um, I discovered a couple of other interesting properties about these shapes. One of them is that you can heat shape them. This is one of the circles. They have lots of different shapes. So the circles that I heat shaped and it turned into a nice little napkin ring. And this one, here's another arrow that they have. This one's the straight one. And I turned it into a nice little card stand. And all you had to do was shape them with your fingers and a heat tool. And that's a pretty cool extra element, I thought. Now we have our two-part element up here. And as before, I showed you that you can open this up. And on the inside of this one, I have, surprise, me being goofy. You know, I'll do just about anything for a laugh. So they challenged me to wear Judy's little hat. So that's me in the Netherlands wearing the hat. And this just says greetings in Dutch. So I think we've just about covered everything that's orange on this page. Um, actually, you know, there are a couple other juicy little items I'd like to show you over here. And you see on this one, I made kind of a geometric card by painting those shapes with some alcohol ink. And then this one is the same picture, cut up a little bit different and added some different decorative elements. This is that same technique we used on the layout, which is putting the plastic over the picture. And finally, we have uh, the tulip because it's all about the tulip in Holland too. And I just took several of the petals from my flower stamp, cut them up and fashioned them into a little tulip. Well, I think we've just about covered everything. The only thing I have left to say is dank you well, which means thank you in the Netherlands. And for everybody else, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, Download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.